something that plays a little bit more disengaged zone control. Fits very well when you're rocking a Senna and a Seraphine. These champions want to play a little bit. Further. So many players would praise Inspire, not for his flashiness, not for his playmaking, but because of how consistent and smart he is. As While a that's going top on, Inspired is now going to be able to roam top. That's a root lands onto one. They tried to flash away to safety. Inspired is using Bear and Phoenix and going to burn him down for first blood. Exquisitely played. Every single moment he's like, I can take this, I can take this, I can take this. And it requires such good awareness, but also such great communication because you need to be working with the pressure of your laners, right? Walking you need to your jungle. And if you decide to fight me, that's when we do go for it. Inspired though, gets a flash, goes oh, on him. Oh, I love it. The flash bear slap after the chem tank. Run, stun, will the job get done? Odo with the soul flare and the last auto. Inspired pair up, they are nearly unstoppable. But that wonder caught out of position, no flash. He'll chuck one over the shoulder, gets stunned in place by Trimby, and this should be a third kill to Inspired, a third kill to Rogue, and the first steps towards their third ever Nexus kill against G2. Yeah, Rogue only needed four there to take down the raid boss in Wonder, and it's a third kill onto Inspired, and well, as well, you can see Mickey is here, they want to go in. There's the body slam, the shotgun comes out, there's not enough damage just yet, rather the Magnet Storm, I should correct myself. That's the first kill for G2, it was set up by Mickey, the Everfrost didn't find its target, but a four-man stack will now push onto the tower. And while I was just saying Trim being Inspired working well has been a staple of Rogue and so critical in this game, an area where G2 have been weaker in com compared to previous years has been jungle support, here we go, we got a fight. He's got the ultimate available for the disengage. The ult comes down from Cap to the Encore, chucked down. Inspired, Summon a heal, saves the day from Han Summon. This is the amount of time Trimby spent roaming yep. and, you know, shadowing, sitting behind Larson. It did not net any advantages. Oh, Multiple. Deeper, because now G2 are able to find this Ocean Drake, stop down the, the fast stacking of the Soul Roger, of course, going to trade it for the Caps. mid tower. Hansama has the option to try and stop hitting the tower for a while and maybe had the chance to deny a canyon minion or something like this, but ultimately Roger calling off the play because Trimby is headed topside and Inspired is not interested in falling. Oh, a lot of potential here as Yankos and Trimby will go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Oh. Yankos is in trouble. Blast Cone buys some additional time for Rogue. Ferromance used to buy a little bit more as the Ragnarok allows Yankos to escape to the river. The Undertow is sidestepped, the chem tank comes in, the bear to the face, and Yankos will get taken out by Lost. Deadman's oh. played fully stacked, and so is the Enchanted Crystal Arrow. There are so many tools available. Hans Summer fires it, it lands on Yankos. Ragnarok oh, available, Mickey. the barrel comes out, Trimby goes forward, throws out the Magnet Storm, the Encore is thrown, the Ragnarok, Ooh. the Ragnarol, and G2 have traded one for one. So far, it's support for support, but they will get themselves a second, Ooh. and it's traded back. Reckless goes down and Rogue have turned the fight. They're running into G2, who are on the wrong side. They can the chase them. Inspired steps forward, manages to get the stun, and Yankos doesn't get the kill. But the Ash Arrows, the volley, as well as the Archer Shots, is doing so much work. Wonder will fall, and the last man standing is Caps. It's too little, it's too late. Oh, they've got Play him. The music for the fountain, the stun to the face, flash over the wall, and Rogue will win the fight. Oh, Caps man, wow. stun. I didn't realize he managed to hit actually all of them. Beautiful position from the two carries of Rogue. There's one benefit for Reckless at 101 stacks. Correction, 103 oh. stacks. The range will play into his favor. Mickey as well as Cap. Some Enchanted Crystal Arrow is available. He hasn't, hasn't pulled the trigger just yet. The Soul Flare inside. The, pit. the arrow comes out. That catches onto Yagnos. He's gone on through the Ragnarok. Already picked up a kill onto Odoame. Now it's a 5v3. Trimby's going to arrive late to the party. Inspired will be the next to four rooted up. Taken down. Cap picks up the kill. Three members of Rogue still around. There's, There's no, no smite, smite for Rogue. Inside the pit. Yankos, can he secure this one? He needs to be able to. A lot of bursts can come from Larson. 2003. And Trimby's inside the pit with a Magnet Storm. A What's Cinder? Barrett. It's a fight to multiple fronts. It's G2 that pick up the Baron. It's G2 that kill Trimby, and it's G2 that regain control. Santa Sacks approaching 120 for Reckless, but G2 have to feel comfortable in control. control of the game. But now the onus is for G2 to press that advantage forward. It's only three towers apiece. G2 are close enough. Caps and Yankos are there. Reckless can oh. still support with the ultimate from long range. Mickey has still got the ultimate available to him. That's the third Drake picked oh, up. Now Roger on the back foot. Hunt Summer gets caught by the barrel. That's a fantastic Magnet Storm. And the ult is securing the kill for Reckless. But at what cost? Mickey manages to escape with his life. Holy Rogue shut it down there. I mean, Mickey going every which way right there, but you saw the Zonias, the amount of time it bought. Rogue just sort of stared at him like, uh, what do we do, guys? And G2 call Rogue's bluff. They know they don't full commit to the Baron, and they get their third ocean of the game.
Beautiful stuff from G2. They're relying on the scaling. They've been incredibly patient. And now they're starting off the objective. Mickey pushes in mid, but as the observers are highlighting, Rogue have not abandoned the fight just yet. TP back in from Odo Amne. Well, what can he do to help out the team? Mantra not available just yet. Wonder dashes forward. Not gonna Mickey be on the flank. Lines. Mickey's looking for the flank. He's got the body slam. He's got the Q as well. He's gonna be able to split them up. That's a root down. Larson is on a rampage. He picks up the kill onto Mickey as G2 split their focus. They run down Larson for the first time. They get the shutdown, which is gigantic. Wanda holds three rogue members in place, and the deal is done as G2 close it out. G2 shut down Rogue in the initial fight. They take the objectives, they take the win over the team fight. Now they're barreling down top lane with only Trimby left to defend. There's no one left on Rogue to stand in the way of G2 as they look to break into the base of Rogue. Those death timers are long. G2 played the patient game. They conceded a little bit early, but they knew that they would win out late from start to finish. G2 are looking to take game one in the series. Very, very interesting game to open the series. Clear advantage for Rogue during the laning phase. Clear advantage for G2 in the mid and the late game. And G2 strike first, taking down Rogue to go 1-0. And as is G2 customary fashion, drag him out of the fountain. Beyond death to kill Trimby for the ace, kill the Nexus in the base, and G2 1-0 Rogue. Vedius.